Well, what's up everybody? So, we're gonna uh, paint uh, this shit and talk about the grand theory of game unification, I guess is what I call it. Linking all of your campaigns together, all of your game systems together, if you want to, into one universe. Kind of like the Marvel Expanded Universe, but for your house. It's just something I've been working on and like chewing on a bit while I make the D&D campaign. So I could link the D&D campaign that we're doing with my, uh, with the Warhammer shit that we're doing. Or maybe I'll just leave the, 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 the Vexilla off, man. The standard off, because he actually can't even use it. And I'll just paint it up and put it on something else. Who knows? But... The point I'm driving at is... For some... For some reason, I, you know, I was about as stoned as I am now. Actually, I was way more stoned. I'd smoked about, who knows, two and a half, three grams of really strong reefer that day. Probably, maybe even four or five. Now I was like, man, what if I, you know, made a, a system for my D&D campaign that uh, allows me to have the D&D campaign exist on the same planet as my Warhammer uh, campaigns and whatnot. Just for narrative purposes, really. I thought that was cool. So I was like, I'm going to run with it. And it's a pretty hard beast to deal with in the way I would do it. Instead of like making like the planet that I'm doing D&D on, the planet that I would say I would suggest that other people do it for in the system of, you know, campaign management, it would be more of a true system of campaign management, which is like this is the way that you would handle these things. To make your own little, I guess we'll call it, uh, game expanded universe for, you know, dork purposes. And the first idea, the first step forward is uh, time management. How do you manage the passage of time via civilization, uh, growth, uh like we'll say moral expansion, learning technologically, all of these things. Well, there's a, a pointer that I, you can get from the past games. If you played the Star Wars RPG back in the day, like 2004, 2005, 2002, probably even early 2000s, maybe even like late 90s, I don't remember when that uh, edition of the Star Wars role-playing game was out. It was around the same, the one, I have them around here somewhere, they just have all the characters on the front, the, the, the rule books if I were to describe them would be extremely non-distinct, but they were out in the same area as D&D 3.5 and they are, they're on the, the, the D20 system, Star Wars, there we go, that's a good way to describe it, the D20 system Star Wars role playing game has eras of play and each era enforces what, um, uh, technology, classes, items, I guess even at certain times wildlife in the Star Wars universe you could encounter. And I think that was interesting and very handy to what we're, well at least I'm trying to do here. And uh, somewhat informative because by changing what technology classes and so forth are available you can help manage the passage of time so we'll do it in a rather rudimentary sense in dungeons and dragons in like an encapsulated version in the web in, in a, a weapons aspect and then i will like kind of progress from there because this is uh, as much as i have uh, thought out and then so we'll talk about this like the technology transfer up to even Warhammer, which is ultimately the goal for this whole thing. So you could, for some reason, if you want, if you're like me and you wanted to, it, it's a thing that you could do. And somebody else already thought about it. So you don't have to. So. Say 
you're in Dungeons and Dragons, and you were playing a early, early Bronze Age campaign, where like they get like a copper, they get like a a bronze sword, and they're bam, they're like, ow, he's he's got a bronze compass, watch out. It's mostly like clubs. They might have sl like the ranged weapons are like slings and, and like spears. That maybe they figured out bows, maybe. And then the, the next era of play would be like you know. Then maybe they're figuring out slightly better weapon. I mean not uh, metallurgy, and you know uh, smithing, so they can get more advanced weaponry. Maybe they've actually have real bows. Maybe they've figured out longer swords. Maybe they've figured out like iron. Maybe they've gone all the way to like really terrible variable variable carbon steel. But that that would be pretty advanced. We're just gonna go with the Iron Age. So maybe they go into the Iron Age, right? You know, you have your Iron Age adventures. You know, that has like bows certain weapons and all like you could have a wide variety of weapons like early iron age and like you haven't really figured out much besides like bows and like larger swords like single-handed long swords and like a great sword a super rare weapon and like later in the iron age like maybe in, in any point in any of these points you could have high magic roll around like oh all of a sudden magic or no magic and that would bring variances to the technology and so, say so you get to, like, the, the end of the Iron Age, and they've figured out, like, crossbows and, you know, like, primitive war engines and all sorts of weird stuff. And, like, really, they actually have pretty advanced bows. And, you know, they're, look, they're actually, like, looking into, like, advanced arrowheads and stuff. Then, you know, there's the, the next era, which is, like, the steel era, which is like composite, you know, like I said, variable carbon steel. And after that, like maybe, and like this all progresses like variable carbon steel. At the end of it, maybe they figure out gunpowder. And maybe at the, like with gunpowder, at the end of the variable carbon steel era, comes steamboats or something, you know. Steam technologies, the steampunk world, and you can see where we're going. You can see where the eras of player prog are progressing from here. And then, you know, you can see how the time passage progresses forward from like, we go from like steampunk, industri the industrial revolution, forward to like some World War I post, and then, you know, some World War II fantasy, you know, forward into like, you know, uh, say like pre-modern pre-modern being like the 60s and all that then you know move into our era or like move move from like world war one world war two skip past our time entirely move into some like dystopian sci-fi there's a few ways you could do it you can again bog down i guess where you need to say society discovers magic and and bronze age technology and calls it good there for thousands and thousands of years. How would a chronological history deal with this compared to a society that didn't find magic until the late steel era and they already had gunpowder and you know primitive cars and, and and things? These these would be different. It'd be very very different worlds. And, you know, it'd be different in setting, but I think it would also affect how the rest of the, your world develops, and the system would have to account for the these things. And it does in a certain manner, but also at the same time, this is one of the problems I'm, I am encountering, is trying to figure out how to introduce a not obtuse system of managing variation. In, because if you go down like if you have a like a somewhat lin linear system, that you know like all 
they all went from a, a you know point A to point B to point C. D to the end of the alphabet. I guess there's an argument yeah, that's somewhat simple, but also the same time that would lead to everything kind of being the same. And at this, that point, why am I even trying to make a system so we could have these dope separate narrative universes? Anyways, this is just a video about a thought and idea I had for my D and D campaign to link that with my Warhammer. You know, I don't know how interesting this is to anybody else. I thought it'd be great to link all your stuff together. Just get it all, get it all mixed in there. You say you want to link your your bolt action and your uh, Battlefield Europe and your um, forget there. You know, link all that. Uh, we already talked about that. That all fits into the World War One, World War Two era. This, this system should allow for every game system that you have to fit into the same narrative world. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.